So, welcome to lesson five. Lesson five is on adjustment of halving. Now, as you'll notice, you know, Private Wiggins has been called away, so he won't be with us for these lessons. Um, Brown, you okay there, or do you want to move forward? No, I'm not so far. Okay there. Uh, so, halving. Hopefully you remember some of these diagrams from what we did briefly uh, in, the, in the instrument when we are describing the lenses. We have halving. Now, halving is not quite half of the screen, but that we have the top half and the bottom half, uh, they're slightly offset like this, and you have the left lens piece uh, in the top and the right in the bottom. Okay? One of the adjustments that you need to make using the halving adjustment head, uh, can you remember where the halving adjustment head is? Yep, correct, under the left lens there and left side, uh, is to make sure that these are equal in where they should. This is the incorrect view i.e. there is a bigger gap between the middle line and the top here and the lower line. This is a hill or the crest of a slope. What we need to do is make sure that the gap between those two, top and bottom, is correct. Uh, this is the correct halving. As close as possible. As close, uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. They, well, um, they will be as equal distance apart. Uh, so it's not necessarily that they're both touching the centre line but they're an equal distance either side of that centre line because the dis whether they touch or not is dependent upon the distance uh, that, that you are that the object is away from you okay. so uh, it may vary but they, they've got to be equal top and bottom so when you first get up and get into that setup the focusing position uh, that we, you know, we, we went through the process of that but what you need to be setting up is your coincidence adjustment um, which we'll cover off uh, soon enough and your halving adjustments. So, so this is making sure that you, you have correct halving. Now what we'll do is we'll go into the field and we'll try that on our um, line target. So in, in, in the case of the line, we'll have um, you know, perhaps uh, the, the target, the object pole there, and we'll have um, you know, correct halving. The top of that will be at equal distance either side of that center line. In the incorrect uh, halving, it would obviously be at different distances for that centre line. So we're going to go and try it on that. We'll also try it on some crest lines so you can see how you adjust that halving and how the, how the instrument reacts to both types of object that you're uh, ranging upon. Okay? okay? Any questions? No, sorry. No? Okay. Well, we'll go into the field then and try that out. So, you've got your theory on halving done. What we want to do now is your halv uh, halving adjustment. Can you remember where your halving adjustment head is? Yes, Sergeant. Excellent. Have a little fiddle, just to remember that it clicks, doesn't it? Okay, so it clicks, and that is your adjustment. Now I want you to take your halving adjustment off of the top of that white post, and then get it back on. So make sure that halving is absolutely perfect for you. Okay? Making sense? Yes, sir. Yes. All working? Yes, sir. Yes, is your halving correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm so sorry. Let me come and check then. If we've only got a hope so, I'm going to come and check. Roll to one side then, Fisher. I'm near you. Uh, slightly off still. You need to bring that left hand window down, or that top down. Oop. Roll to one side then Brown. Further. Same with you. That needs a little bit more adjustment. What about you, Riley? Yeah. Roll them on side. Yeah, that's good. That's spot on there, Riley. Let me check you over two again. Fisher? You there yet? Yeah? Uh, it looks like it's 
looks like it, please. <laughs> Better, almost there. A tiny bit more and you'd be sorted. You can tighten up your, uh, your wobble. That's very tight, it's still wobble. Okay, we, we're probably outside of a groove there then. How are you, Brown? Happy? Not as yet. Check you then, yeah. Almost spot on. Almost spot on. Yours was good, Riley. Okay, so I want you to now use the top of the crest of the hill to your left, to your 10 o'clock. That crest of the hill, you've got a nice flat top there with some trees. Are we looking at that castle? I mean, uh, church? No. Right hand side of the church, bunch of trees on top of the hill, lone trees standing up taller. Okay, yep. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So use that flat top there, that will give you an opportunity to check your halving again. Clear? Yes, sir, do. Yes, sir, do. So we can use the top of objects and good crests to check halving. Happy? Yes, sir. Excellent. If you're happy, I'm happy. Very happy, sir. That carving adjustment now will remain and you will need to check that to make sure that all your ranges are, you know, it will make life a lot easier for you if you check that when you first pick up an instrument. Superb. There endeth the lesson. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Please support us on Patreon if you're able to and let us know of anything you'd like to see in the future. I look forward to hearing from you.